education machine had failed. We see no difference between this claim and the outrageous ones made by cut pastors like performing fake miracles and extorting money from believers with the calls like Tumumbegu ya miatatu kumi or fast until you meet Christ. Seven, the cult leaders are behind the decision by Ruto to establish a faith diplomacy office where he has gone ahead to provide a list of 100 members to be recruited in the Public Service Commission as intercessors supposedly to pray for counties and the government. Nobody knows the identity, the qualifications of the so-called intercessors, how they were identified and where they, they fit in a government where religion and state are separate entities. Eight, Ruto is the leader of the cult movement disguised as Christianity in Kenya. Ruto, Gachagua, and their families must tell Kenyans when and how they knew these cult leaders and what they knew about them. Nine, Ruto and Gachagua must tell Kenyans how much these so-called pastors contributed to their 2022 campaign. How many times have the so-called pastors accessed a state house since the start of this regime? 10. As we stated at the start, Ruto must know he has no powers to appoint a judicial commission of inquiry. So that option is out. 11. We are all aware that judicial commissions of inquiry have been the tool of choice whenever the government has something to hide, like you believe Ruto does now. 12. Parliament must swing into action, come up with a select committee, and get to the roots of the cultic activities in the country and the abuse of religion for political pain. 13. Parliament must help us establish whether the deaths at Shakahola were acts of rogue pastors, human sacrifices, or body organ trade, and who the beneficiaries were. 14. The DCI may have swung into action late, but since they did, they have been doing a great job in Chakahola. They should be allowed to do their job without in their inter interference. 15. The current blanket restrictions placed on independent observers, including the media, and civil society must be lifted forthwith. 16. The state must give the media full access to the scene of crime and various aspects of the investigations. 17. Going forward, Ruto must commit to draw a clear line between religion and state in this country. He has deliberately merged the two to enable his political survival and as the cover-up for his corruption. Eighteenth, each on Shakahola, Ruto is as guilty as those he is seeking to investigate. I repeat, he is as guilty as those he is seeking to investigate. The blood of those children who starved to death crying for a spoon of water is in Ruto's hands.